Can I look to Deputy Eamon Gilmore? Um, can Corla, today we learn that um, the uh, equipment in um, Port Leisure Hospital is uh, 15 years old and a leading radiologist on radio this morning said that uh, in half the hospitals of the country that the uh, radiology equipment is also 15 years old. How many of your ministers, Taoiseach, are driving around in 15-year-old cars? How many of your departments are relying on 15-year-old computer equipment? And why, if that's not good enough for government, is it good enough uh, to scan women for breast cancer? Now, yesterday, while we were discussing this issue here, Professor John Crown was on radio, and he described your government's approach to the health service as insane. He said that you were presiding over an apartheid system, that your policy appeared, uh, to, make, appeared to be to make public health care as unattractive as possible, that your government has an attitude to public health care which is like your attitude to the dole, you despise it, that your government is being hypocritical in closing down public facilities on the grounds that they are too small while you're opening private facilities that are even smaller. Professor Morris Nelligan yesterday at a conference said that it is immoral and wrong to run down small hospitals without having in place the promised centres of excellence. He went on to say that your plan to build private hospitals has more to do with suiting the construction industry than suiting the needs of the patient. He says that the Minister and, H and the HSE are in cloud cuckoo land if they believe that patients are not suffering as a result of your health policies. And he said that the Minister for Health would have resigned or be sacked from her position if she was in any other country. In this morning's examiner, Professor Ray Kinsella says that responsibility rests squarely with the government uh, and that the policies now being pursued, whatever about uh, the uh, ministers who are pursuing them, uh, were, were, were actually rejected by the electorate in June. Professor Niall Higgins, who drew up, who drew up the, uh, uh, the cancer strategy, has described what happened in Port Leash as a systems failure something that you said yesterday it was not and that you repeated again here this morning. Now Tishuk, all of these people, respected experts in the field of medicine and in health economics, they're not opposition politicians, they're not leaders of political parties, they don't have a political axe to grind. And what all of them, hold on a second now, these are people who cure people. These are people who do their job responsibly and if this government was doing as good a job in managing and running the health service as these people are in curing their patients, we wouldn't have the problems in the health service that we have today. So what I want to, what I want to know, what I want to know Taoiseach is this, they say that it is your responsibility and the government's responsibility what is happening in the health service and I have just one question for you, not to answer me but to answer them, do you accept responsibility for what is happening in the health service? I would like to remind, remind members, this is leaders' questions, it's, it's not open to other members to interrupt. Thank you, Kian Corla. That's a scandalous, cowardly reply, which doesn't, which, doesn't, which doesn't answer the question. Now, you've spent a week, Taoiseach, and the people representing you, uh, including indeed the, the HSE, casting blame around everywhere else. It was the people marching on the streets. Now it's the 120,000 people who are working uh, in the health service. And by kind of side of the mouth implication, it's uh, certain consultants or medical professionals who somehow are not coming up to the mark that's causing the problem. That wasn't the question I asked. The question I asked what was a political question. And the political question is, the book stops somewhere. Now where does it stop? My view, it stops with government. In the view of these respected medical professionals who have spoken over the course of the past 24 hours about what is happening in our health service, they believe that the book ultimately stops with uh, you and your government and your Minister for Health because you have political responsibility. Now you're a great man to come in here 
and to cast aspersions on people who are working in the health service. The one thing that you didn't do was own, own up and stand up for the responsibility that you have yourself and your government has had. How much longer do you want to put our health service right? You've now served a probationary period of over 10 years and it's in a mess. Over 50% of the people of this country in an interview and in a survey last week said that it is worse now than when you started. It's worse now than when Minister Harney uh, took, uh, uh, took over. And I think that those people are entitled to a little better from you for your management, not the individual staff who are working or the individual consultants who are working in the health service, but for your responsibility and your accountability for the way that you spend the taxpayers' money on the health service, because we're not getting the value for the taxpayers' money that is, be that is being spent on it. It's a mess and it's time that something was done by your government more than casting blame to put it right. Yeah. Yeah.